Whenever your 48 is deployed in NAT mode, in network address translation mode, it acts as an OSI layer 3 router. As a router, it does decisions, decisions on where to send different packets that arrives to or different packets that it generates. Now, it does so using a routing table. A routing table is actually a series of rules. Think of each rule as the next hope. Now, the next hope doesn't have to be the final destination of the packet. It can also be a path to another router that will route the packet forward. Each routing hope in the routed path requires our 48 to do a routing table lookup that will pass the packet along until it reaches its destination. Now, 48 does two routing lookups for each session. For the first packet that is sent by the originator and for the first packet that is sent by the responder. As it finishes its routing lookups, he writes the routing information in the session table and all other packets that belong to that session will follow this path. Now, when your Fodigase tries to match a route to a packet destination, it may find some routes to the same destination. Which one should he choose? Well, it depends. It depends on the route attributes. The route attributes are determined the best route. All right, that's enough for now. We will look at static routes. These are routes that are entered manually. We will look at dynamic routing, which is configured dynamically using dynamic protocols such as OSPF. We will also look at policy routes, which is FortiGate's very advanced policy routing mechanism. We will look at the different routing attributes, internet services routing, so let's start.